Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the mysteries and wonders of the universe. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at one of the most fascinating and controversial places on Earth, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is one of the oldest and most remarkable cities in the world. Its history spans over four millennia, and its name means City of Peace in Hebrew. But peace has often eluded this city, as it has endured countless wars, invasions, and destructions. It has been razed to the ground twice, by the Babylonians in 586 BCE and by the Romans in 70 CE. It has been surrounded by enemies and besieged 23 times, from the Assyrians in 701 BCE to the Crusaders in 1099 CE. It has been attacked 52 times, by the Persians, the Arabs, the Turks, the British, and many others. And it has been captured and recaptured 44 times, by the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims, the Ottomans, the British, the Jordanians, and the Israelis. But Jerusalem is not only a city of war and strife. It is also a city of faith and spirituality. It is the place where God chose to dwell among his people, and where he revealed his will and his word. It is the place where Abraham, the father of the three monotheistic religions, was tested by God and offered his son as a sacrifice. It is the place where David, the greatest king of Israel, established his capital and brought the Ark of the Covenant. It is the place where Solomon, the wisest king of Israel, built the magnificent temple that housed the Holy of Holies. It is the place where Jesus, the Son of God and the Messiah of the Christians, preached, performed miracles, died, and rose again. It is the place where Muhammad, the prophet of God and the founder of Islam, ascended to heaven and met with God and other prophets. Jerusalem is a city that has a special and unique status for the followers of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. It is a city that contains some of the most sacred and revered sites for these faiths, such as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the Temple Mount, and the Al-Aqsa Mosque. It is a city that attracts millions of pilgrims and tourists every year, who come to see, touch, and pray at these holy places. It is a city that inspires awe and devotion, but also fear and hatred. It is a city that is both a blessing and a curse, a heaven and a hell, a dream and a nightmare. Why is Jerusalem so important for these faiths? And what makes it so complex and contested today? To answer these questions, we need to explore the history, the holy sites, and the legal status of the city. Join us in this video, as we take a closer look at Jerusalem, the city of God and the city of man. Jerusalem is located on a plateau in the Judean mountains, between the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea. The city is divided into four quarters, the Armenian, the Christian, the Jewish, and the Muslim. The Old City, which is part of the occupied East Jerusalem, contains some of the most sacred and revered sites for the three religions. For Christians, Jerusalem is the city where the most important events of their faith took place. It is where Jesus Christ, whom they believe is the Son of God and the Savior of the world, was arrested, tried, condemned, crucified, buried, and resurrected. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, located in the Christian quarter of the Old City, is built over the site of his tomb and is considered the most sacred place for Christians. Millions of pilgrims visit the church every year, especially during Easter, to worship and commemorate the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of Jesus. Christians also revere other places in Jerusalem that are connected to the life and ministry of Jesus, such as the Via Dolorosa, the path that Jesus walked carrying his cross from the place of his trial to the place of his execution, the Mount of Olives, where Jesus prayed, taught, and ascended to heaven, and the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus was betrayed and arrested. For Jews, Jerusalem is the city where their spiritual and national identity was forged. It is where the first and the second temples were built, and where God's presence, or Shekinah, dwelled among his chosen people. The Temple Mount, also known as Mount Moriah, is the holiest site in Judaism, as it is where Abraham, the father of the Jewish people, was asked to sacrifice his son Isaac, and where God provided a ram as a substitute. It is also where King Solomon, the son of King David, erected the first temple, which housed the Ark of the Covenant, the chest that contained the tablets of the Ten Commandments. The Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall, is the only remaining part of the Second Temple, which was destroyed by the Romans in 70 CE. It is the place where Jews pray and place their written prayers in the cracks of the stones, expressing their longing for the restoration of the Temple and the Messianic Era. For Muslims, Jerusalem is the city where the Prophet Muhammad, the Messenger of God and the founder of Islam, had a miraculous journey and ascension. It is where Muhammad was carried by the angel Gabriel on a winged horse from Mecca to Jerusalem's noble sanctuary, or Haram al-Sharif, where he prayed with other prophets and ascended to heaven and met with God and other prophets. The Al-Aqsa Mosque, also known as the Farthest Mosque, is the third holiest site in Islam, after Mecca and Medina. 
It is located on the Haram al-Sharif, which also includes the Dome of the Rock, a stunning golden shrine that marks the spot where Muhammad ascended. The mosque can accommodate up to 5,000 worshippers, and is adorned with beautiful mosaics and inscriptions. The Dome of the Rock is one of the oldest and most recognizable Islamic structures in the world, and is revered by Muslims as a symbol of their faith and history. As you can see, Jerusalem is a city that holds immense religious and historical significance for millions of people around the world. But it is also a city that faces many challenges and conflicts, as both Israel and Palestine claim it as their capital and their rightful home. The status of Jerusalem has been a core issue in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and a source of violence and tension for decades. Israel captured most of Jerusalem, including the Old City, from Jordan in the Six-Day War in 1967, and later annexed it in a move that was not recognized by most of the international community. Israel considers Jerusalem as its eternal and undivided capital, and has built settlements and barriers in and around the city, restricting the movement and rights of the Palestinian residents. Israel also controls access to the holy sites, and has often clashed with Muslim worshippers over security and sovereignty. Palestine, on the other hand, wants East Jerusalem as the capital of its future state, and demands that Israel withdraws from the occupied territories. Palestine also claims the right to protect and administer the holy sites, especially the Haram al-Sharif, which it considers as an Islamic waqf, or an inalienable religious endowment. Palestine also accuses Israel of violating international law and human rights, and of erasing the Palestinian identity and heritage of the city. The international community, for the most part, does not recognize Israel's sovereignty over Jerusalem, and considers it as a corpus separatum, or a separate entity, under a special international regime. The United Nations has passed several resolutions calling for a peaceful and negotiated solution to the Jerusalem question, based on the principle of two states for two peoples, with Jerusalem as the shared capital. However, these resolutions have not been implemented, and the prospects of a peaceful resolution seem dim. Jerusalem is a city that is rich in history, culture, and spirituality, but also rife with conflict, violence, and injustice. It is a city that inspires awe and devotion, but also fear and hatred. It is a city that is both a blessing and a curse, a heaven and a hell, a dream and a nightmare. It is a city that is, in the words of the poet Yehuda Amichai, a port city on the shore of eternity. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. See you next time.